Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. My name is Rebecca Ravenbird and today we are continuing on our journey to the road to level 20. So I just was able to unlock uh, the next part for Farrah's workshop here. I'm almost done and I'm really happy to see that. So I'm really close to level 20 as well. I am not sure that I'm gonna be able to get to level 20 in this video. So, well, in this clip anyway. Um, so if I don't get it with Farrah here, I will just insert the next clip in which I do reach level 20. So let's read what she has to say. Path of the Apprentice, part 10. A well-made saddle, treated with care, can last for generations. Making a saddle worthy of becoming a family heirloom is, is a true test of a master artisan. Now I think you're ready to try for yourself. I've added the recipe to the saddlery workstation. Okay. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna get me to it. I think it's only like five or... Once you've completed these recipes, you'll have learned everything I have to teach you for now. Good luck. Okay, so in terms of where are we? So if it's 70,000, 70, right? 70,000 minus 6, 69,945. I think that's almost 60 or so. Um, 60 or so. I'm not sure. I'll put the math on the screen right now so you can see how much XP I need exactly. As you can see, I was not able to get up to level 20, but um, let's go check a look at what the new recipes are. Oh, by the way, this is my Yule Goat pet. His name is Pepper. Um, that's just the first name that came to mind when I got him. He's really cute. I really, I really like him. I like his little animations. I like how small he is too. Um, and the bell sound that he makes, he also makes some rustling sounds, which is interesting and cute. I just wish he would go bad like the, um, like the Yule Goats when you're actually doing the Yule, go Yule Goat hunting. But, uh, oh well. Oh wait, this is the wrong station. Okay, so it's this middle one. I've never really made any of the items here. I only made one of the tunics from this station. So let's see. Wow, we have a ton of stuff. Um... Yeah, so I have like some of these items, but these other items I would just have to make later on. In my next clip, hopefully you'll actually get to see me do some more quests in which I actually get to level 20. I'll see you there. All right, so it's another day and I swear I already did this quest where it's kind of between like right here, like Doyle's Abbey. I swear I already did this quest and I just randomly stumbled upon it as I was training this horse. Uh, anyway, it says a bottle. It looks like something is in it. A letter. Let me read it. My dearest, I'm leaving Jorvik now and did not have the time to say goodbye to you. My parents got the message that we needed to get on the first boat leaving the island. I never got your address, so I threw this message in a bottle from the boat hoping that it would reach you. Your Anna, October 12th, 1972. P.S. Remember that little tree in the hollow woods where we carved our names? Go there and think of me. Kisses. Okay, hollow woods. I get 10 XP... Five with Fort Penta, interesting. Okay, find the tree in the hollow woods that has a carving on it. Um, so I'm thinking this has- the tree has to be in the denser part of the forest, so not around here. Um, and then I have to look really carefully at the trees to see- to look for the carving of the names. Now, like I said, I have no idea. I may have to consult the internet for help. So I found it on the map, it's kind of this way, it's kind of at the edge, like where- Silverglade is, I think. Wait a minute. Am I going the right way? Kinda. I need to go that way. Oh, okay. So I can get up here. Oh, I see it now. Oh! How come I've never been here? What the heck? Okay, so Landon and Anna. A carving. Now, let's see what's written. Landon and Anna, 1972. Landon, isn't that the guy with the sheep on the Everwind fields? I will ride over to him with the letter. The funny thing is, I actually do have to give my club members uh, some tests later today. So hopefully I can finish these quests before the test. What they're doing is they're doing their intermediate exit tests. And I have um, set up this... Oh, wait a minute. He's this way. I have set up exit tests so that um, when you have completed the intermediate level, um, you take that test to, to see if you are ready for the advanced level. And in my club, we do this other thing where like if you are a new member to the club and you say like your intermediate level, I'll, I'll give you an intermediate uh, entrance test. But OK, let's talk to Landon. Sorry, I was rambling. OK, a tree with names. Hi, Rebecca. A letter from me. I'm so close. Where am I? 
Where am I? 60. Okay, here we go. Return message in a bottle. Oh dear, Rebecca. It was a long time ago, but I remember it like it was yesterday. Anna was an amazing person. We had a wonderful summer together, but she was just gone one day. Wait a second. While I, while I read her letter. Hmm, so that's what happened. I wonder what things would have been like if she had stayed. Or if I had received the letter 30 years earlier. 30 years ago. But life turned out okay anyway. I have my dear sheep and rabbits and they give me the daily exercise I need. But I need to reply to her letter anyway in the same way. A message in a bottle. Fate will decide if my message gets to her faster or not, Rebecca. Here, take my letter. It's already in a, already in a bottle. Throw it in the water by Fort Pinta so it follows the current back to Anna. Where's a good place? Ask James. He should know. Return message in a bottle. A good place to throw a message in a bottle? I'm so close. Bottle tossing. What? I have to... Okay. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend the money on the uh, reputation... What is it called? The hotel thing? And I will be right back. The pier near the bridge to Fort Penta should be the best place, Rebecca. It's almost right underneath the bridge. Throw the bottle in there and I will look for it through my telescope to see that it's going the right way. I just hope the tide doesn't bring it back to shore again. Uh, the pier near the bridge to Fort Penta. Oh, down there? Oh, maybe. Okay, hopefully I don't die. Um, but okay, I'm gonna go down there. I think that's what he was talking about. I wonder if I can just get over here like this. Never mind. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be doing this to my new horse, but, um... Oh, looks like I can... Alright. <laughs> uh, new ways of traveling around. It's a tiny little pier. I've, like, never walked onto here. Oh, uh, do I have to get down? Hello? What the heck? Why well, wanna go? Maybe I have to stand back from my horse. Okay, there it is. So it's floating there. Now I have to go talk, uh, talk to James again. So he's gonna look in his. I saw the bottle through my telescope. It hasn't moved much yet. Come back tomorrow and I'll let you know if it comes if it goes out to sea with the tide water today. <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh my gosh! I finally did it. All right. So, long distance delivery. Oh, I didn't actually have to wait? What the heck? The bottle came back, Rebecca. The tide didn't take it out and it just tossed it back up to the beach again. I went down and picked it up, but I'm not sure what to do now. How are we going to get it out far enough to reach the currents? Shoot it out? Are we gonna have to use the cannons? Uh, there are a lot of cannons here, that's true. I have a barrel full of gunpowder that we can use. It's up on the wall just above the disco. He said on the roof above the disco. So, oh, I see it. I see it. Okay, so I have to get up to this sort of middle part here. So it must be in a box or something, because aren't there some boxes up here? Yeah, there's like boxes there. Good, now we are ready to launch the bottle. I hope this works. Cannon mail. All the way up in Fort Pinta, there's a cannon that might be perfect for this, Rebecca. It's aimed straight out over the ocean and it's not very rusty at all. Ride back up on the wall and go as far up as you can. That's where you will find the cannon I'm talking about. Shoot out the bottle and come back here. Oh, oh, wait. Yeah, this one. Well, one of these ones. Okay, wait. Oh, it's that one over there. Okay. So I was right coming up to the third level, but uh, we need to come back down so we can go over this way. Gunpowder first. Okay, so it's headed towards South Hoof. Do I have to load it into the front of this thing? I think I do. Yeah, here we go. Uh, and then I guess I have to light it up. Uh, what? Why is it just floating like that oh my gosh oh that was so weird okay let's go back to james now good shot rebecca i can already see it floating over the horizon through my binoculars let's pray it reaches landon's old girlfriend grateful for an answer i think you should ride back to landon and tell him what happened i'm sure he's dying to know take care rebecca i get a saddle pad it kind of looks similar to another saddle pad i have but oh well 
we are going to go back to Steve's farm and talk to Lyndon. Thank you, Rebecca. What a great idea to shoot it out of a cannon. I just hope the bottle gets to her faster than her bottle got to me. <clears throat> and as a token of my appreciation, I would like to have, like for you to have this blanket. I ordered it through the mail thinking it would be good for my sheep to keep them warm after their shearing. It turned out they didn't need it, so you can take it instead. Bye bye. I guess that was it? Huh. I don't know what else there is to do after that. Um, I may have to look up on uh, your Wikipedia again to see if there's um, more to this quest. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy. I got up to level 20 today, so it's really cool. And um, yeah, I have to fill up this bar again to hopefully get to level 21. And I'm hoping, of course, that Star Stable will come out with more story story quests uh, very soon. And uh, of course, I will get XP as I do my Druid training, but um, I still am pretty far off with that as well. So thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know down in the comments below what level you are. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!